Hi everyone, uh, it's Hayden here. Just a quick overview on the Fusion uh, Microfusion FPV frame from Fusion Imaging. Um, tiny crafts are getting more and more popular and seem to be becoming more powerful each day. Um, this printed frame from Fusion Imaging store in Shapeways. Um, it's a Shapeways item, so it will never be out of stock. The small size makes these things very tough, especially um, if you use the recommended battery sizes. I suggest 250 milliamps for 2S and uh, maybe 200 milliamp on 3S. I know it sounds small, but believe me, uh, give it a try and it will give you a great um, flying time. I mean, if you're punching full throttle all the time, continuously, it might be shorter. But, uh, give it a try. Um, the frame is fully printed, so there are some advantages in manufacturing. The exterior is smooth. Um, the shape of the arms themselves are a modified profile of a 9mm Remington bullet round for the low drag coefficient. We've tried wing tips and everything, but this design lets you put an ESC right under it. Uh, bullets have a flat back. Um, the arm is actually hollow makes it very light but it's internally reinforced with a series of baffles like the titanic and um, you kind of get little cell structures inside I like the hollow bo uh, bones of a bird um, the way the frame is developed is very unscientific basically it was a design uh, with minimal material and then given to a bunch of people for testing uh, with each crash the frame was reinforced at the um, fracture points we had many uh, this frame was broken at many points in the in, in the first iteration and basically I just slap on a bit of material here and there to reinforce it so um, it goes back on the field and you repeat it until basically I deem it good so this ends up with a very light but tough frame and um, this process is very hard to achieve with traditional uh, manufacturing um, like many mini frames, you can fly this without a canopy. I mean, a lot of people do this with a tiny whoop and um, the Ishin frames. But um, the canopy was also created. In fact, there were three that were created. A 1.5mm, 2.5mm and a 2mm thickness. Uh, no one's actually ever broken a 1mm yet. So that's the one that's going on sale first. Um, they're going to be very cheap. It's very light. Um, so I would just recommend flying with a light one. If it breaks, just slap another one on. But um, there will be, if you want, 1.5 millimeters and 2 millimeters on sale a bit later on, uh, if that's even necessary. Um, this frame accepts uh, 1104 motors with standard M2 screws by 9 millimeter spacing. Um, it also takes the new Racer Stars. Um, 1103 motors with M1.6 screws and 8.5 millimeter spacing. So you've got plenty of brushless motor support. Um, any ESCs shorter than about 28, 29 millimeters would fit. So that's pretty much any modern ESC out there. You can put a wide one on there, but I mean, it fits and it will fly. Uh, I mean, modern ones are skinny. Um, for receiver, this thing takes all the way up to a big old X4R. Um, the X4R has full range telemetry receiver. I like that quite a bit. Um, you've got two antenna holders which put your antennas in there and holds it at a 90 degree angle to each other. It won't be chopped because the length is pretty short and it's under the propeller. So you should get some pretty good power to weight ratios. Um, one of the flies is actually in the process of doing a 4S version with um, 300 milliamp batteries, a 40 gram battery, a bit heavy uh, in my in my thoughts, but um, it's a lot of power ratio. So if you're talking about something this little, that's even doing 250 frame kind of power ratios. Um, the frame has a rubber band mount for any of those um, tiny Ishin TX01, 02, 03, uh, spare part cameras for the QX70, 80, uh, 90, you, you get the point. Um, it's built for the Pico BLX um, flight controller and you screws in 
and actually the flight controller gives it extra rigidity as well. Um, you should be flying with a small uh, FC anyway, but maybe we can create one for the Femto FCs, but the Femto doesn't have a uh, screw mount. So development is never finished. I mean, I'm excited to hear how you guys uh, go with this craft. Let us know how it breaks and if we can improve the fracture point uh, and if it doesn't add too much weight, we'll put it in. <laughs> Of course, if you're going at 90 kilometers an hour and hit a tree, uh, I would recommend not reinforcing that fracture. Uh, there, there's a limit um, to how much uh, meat you want to put on this arm. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, as, all, uh, as with all Fusion Imaging product, there's a money back guarantee if you don't like it. Um, it's spelled out right on the product page. Um, if you're watching this far in the future and things have changed about the money back, just pop us a question, ask um, if there's still a money back, but that's far in the future. Otherwise, right now, um, I, I don't see any changes coming up for a while. Uh, there's a money back guarantee. It's right under the buy it now button. I'm going to do a flight video. Enjoy that video. I'll put it in the description below.